What's up, everybody? Good afternoon. We're on 12.3.6. This is supervised full self-driving. Now, yesterday's drive was a mixed bag of tricks. We had errors on errors on errors. So we're going to try this again. We're going to go to Aspire Coffee. We're going to test out the U-turn. Let's check our settings. So I'm going to keep it in average today. Minimal lane changes off. I do have the automatic uh, set speed offset turned on. So beta is controlling the speed. We have our first intersection. Now we are on the heels of another update, 2024.14.6. They had another big push rollout uh, last night. And I wanna say there's about 840 currently sitting on Wi-Fi waiting on Testify. Let me know if you've got the new UI. I tell you what, I think I used my one-time check for the day. Let's double check. Yep, 9.13 this morning, didn't get the update. Ooh, this is some aggressive speed here. Wow, merging over two lanes. Yeah, even though the, the spring rollout is gonna be with the 12.3.6, I'm still super stoked to test it. Maybe we'll have 12.4, I'm guessing what, 48 hours is my guess. Now, we are on Elon time, so always remember that. So pulling up the route here, we're heading to Aspire Coffee. We're gonna pass the stop sign and then do the U-turn. Yesterday, I want to say it uh, It went right past the turn, didn't even make the U-turn. If we stay in this lane as well, this will end. This is the turning lane we're currently in. So in the past, I've seen uh, FSD move to the right, move to the left. I think maybe two out of five times it nails this. We will have to see. Up, oh, moving over. Applies slight turning force. Mag's going away soon. Can't wait. Yeah, I'll tell you one thing. It's always tougher making these daily videos when you're appending, waiting an update, you know? Because you want something new. You want something fresh and exciting, right? All right, we do have some construction. It has been changed since the last time we saw it. Yesterday, I want to say it was merging to the right. Now it's merging to the left. Got our U-turn coming up. Got construction workers, heavy machinery. Doing very good going around them. Ooh, that guy's cutting out. Now we should get right into this left lane and perform the U-turn. Let's see. Air went over. We do have a F-150 parked on the side, so that may be an issue. Let me pull it up on full screen. You can see him right here. And we're kind of going wide, definitely for that F-150, it looks like. And nice maneuver. Slow, smooth, and confident. We got the 10 mile an hour speed limit sign again. It loves to lock in slow speed in this area. I'm gonna, I'm gonna goose it. Yeah, goosing it doesn't help. Like, it gets us going faster and it slows right back down. I mean, you know, 15 mile an hour is fine for the construction, but there's definitely some type of error here. I'm really hoping 12.4 crushes this bug. Now I want to pull in real quick to Aspire Coffee. We're going to test out one auto park. Auto park's been doing pretty good. I want to say this is auto park beta number one. And we are in the parking lot. Let's see. Let's park right between this. Prius and the CRV. It looks pretty narrow. We'll just kind of stop right here in the middle. See if we nail it in one shot. All right, one and two. Starting to warm up here in Las Vegas. I remember reading a comment about one of the best features about the new Performance Model 3 or the new Highland Model 3 in general is the cooled seats. And I tell you what, that was my differentiating, that was my whole reason for getting the new car. I burned my butt last year. This year, I actually have white seats, so it does help a little bit. But yeah, cooled seats is the way to go. And we pulled off this auto park in one shot. Not too bad. Smooth. Let's go ahead and edit our trip. Taking a look at the trip, we're going to Einstein Bagels next. Looks like we're going to hop on the freeway, exit the freeway. Let's go ahead and put it in drive. Charging up FSD. Three, two, one, and go. So it looks like seven minutes on route, 3.2 miles. Oh, we got the um, security pulling in right here. Kind of slow. Wave them on. All right, full stop. Got one car coming to the left. 
and we are clear right after. Yeah, yesterday was uh, pretty wild. Getting stuck at stop signs, stop lights, errors and lane changes. Ooh, oh, wow. This Civic's trying to merge over. FSD slowed down for him. Look at that and let him in. I'm going to go and wave him on. So if I wave them on, they went around. So FSD definitely saw them slowing and took a evasive maneuver, pulled back a little bit. I like it. A little late for my taste. I would have done it a little slower, but very natural. Oh, we're going through, and we do have a, a Nissan that ran the, the red the stop sign. All right, we're going. So FSD did good to yield to that as well. It was a very comfortable yield as well. That's why I didn't disengage. If it would have been disengaging material, I would have. Yeah, let's see. Very interesting. Have you been to Einstein's bagels or Einstein Bros bagels? Sounds delicious. Well, I want to say 12.3.6 is performing better today, but where's 12.4? We are going to be blown away. I'm putting a lot of hype on 12.4 just because 12.3 has been so great. You know, something to talk about as well. I was something I was watching yesterday is talking about what you focus your attention on in life. So the key, I think what they were trying to explain was that you don't focus on the problem. You focus on the end solution or the goal, never on the problem. So the problems come up in whatever you're trying to achieve your goals or whatever, but don't focus on the problem itself. Fo focus on the end goal. And then what you have to do there after that is get centered with your energy. So you need to think inside and say, I am this, I am that, My, this is successful, that is successful. So reaffirm your end goal and see what happens. That's my word for the day. Yeah, when you chase the problems, you keep chasing it, chasing it, chasing it. Really, it's all about, you know, living in the end. Got a right turn coming up. Very natural maneuver through here, cutting across the lines and everything. Very human style. Still got the automatic. Okay, so we just went to the V11 stack. I wonder if it's gonna jump back on the V12 stack. It didn't jump back. So I have been noticing this error where it kind of goes in between. I don't like the V11 stack anymore, jumping on the freeway, but I do like the offset, offset speed beta getting on the freeway. I can't wait till the whole stack is V12 on the freeway. It's still very good on V11 on the freeway. It's just kind of more robotic. Got the construction here. We have no cars behind. Merging over slowly. Are we gonna merge over? Oh my goodness, almost. All right, that's definitely safety critical. Failed the merge for construction on the freeway. So you can kind of see exactly what I'm talking about on V11. Not good. All right, we're exiting Durango here, 0.2 of a mile. And as always, I'm in full control, but when you see the blue line, FSD is driving. We will be supervised, and I'll let you know if I do any throttle inputs, if I have to disengage, anything like that. For sure. We're on the V12 stack now again. It does really good maneuvering this exit ramp, I've noticed. And better and better every day merging with the oncoming traffic. On the freeway, on the exits here i mean everywhere really good and i sure hope they do another big push of the uh 14.6 version here this week i feel like we might get it on the weekend what are we at wednesday today i right, merged over into the left lane we do have traffic behind You know, on yesterday's drive, after I did that video, I continued driving around on FSD. And I wanna say one thing, one behavior that got better was the lane changes. Like, not the hesitation getting into the lane, but the amount of lane changes it does in general. Like right now, we have it on uh, average, I'm gonna go back, but average, minimal lane changes off, and it's not really getting too squirrely today. I did see a comment the other day saying, how did you get an update if we didn't get an update? But I think there's some type of shadow triggers in the background, some switches being flipped, like to the whole fleet to do different types of tests. I'm not sure though. 
Uh, we do have a crosswalk here. No, uh, let's see. Oh, we do have a crossing. Very good. So we're slowing down. I was trying to look. I'm like, where are they crossing? Perfect. And I think that was a very good slowdown. All right, throw out of the way, moving on. Great behavior. 0.3 of a mile, one minute, two Einstein Bros bagels. What are you eating for lunch today? Just an update, I went to that steakhouse again last night. It was delicious. Yeah. All right, protected green left. Also, I checked my performance order. Still show May 22nd to February or May to June 19th. I tell you what, I'm ready for an update. I'm going to jump out of my chair the day I get a VIN. That is for sure. I've already been having visions of this Performance Model 3 in my life. It's pretty heavy. All right, we have made it. We're going to be navigating around the parking lot. Got someone backing up, traffic going around. And we are not going to Burger King today. All right, pretty tight parking lot. Great time to test auto park. Let's go and whip it around. And thank you so much for watching today. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Always appreciate it. We're going to hit that spot right there. It's an easy one, right? All right, full stop. One, two, go. Check our surroundings. No one behind. Kind of an int interesting uh, trajectory here. Let's see if we can get in there one shot. The more and more I use this auto park, the more helpful I feel like it is, you know, for people to park. It, it really is a great feature because just reversing into a spot can be difficult for some people. Very tight, very close. And that's going to wrap it up. 12.3.6. Where's 12.4? Definitely leave me your feedback below and um, hit subscribe, hit that like button. And you know what? We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.